Hey guys, so I want to make this video to show Quant Data's dark pool levels and how I use them um, in my trading. So, anyways, let's get right to it. So I want to quickly just show off, you know, some of what Quant Data looks like. Obviously, the uh, market is closed right now, but we have, you know, order flows, um, net flow, net drift, equity prints, dark pool levels, which is um mainly what i use on here and i mean we have they have tons and tons of other great stuff if you're into market data this is the place to be so but anyways let me get into our dark pool levels for today and show you guys um for these i'm actually gonna use spy even though i do have qqq open i'm going to do spy so these are going to be the top 50 levels um, but anyways I usually like to go by the value of the order you know how much how big of a value and right here we got two massive ones 2.3 billion 2.41 billion which is at mainly the same level so as you can see 462 in that area is going to be a pretty massive level I mean sorry 562 and then we have that again over here 562 4.42 billion dollars so now let's go back to the chart and look at 562 on spy so right now I'm on the Four hour I'm gonna go to one hour um, to get a better picture and as we can see right here this area yeah as we can see and I'm on the one hour right now so you can see how many one hour candles has touched this six this sorry 562 um, area so as we can see, that is definitely a, I would call it more of a resistance area on SPY. Obviously, we are now, we were trading above it. But as you can see, that is a very big resistance level. I mean, SPY kept kind of hitting it and we're tracing back down from there. So that is quite interesting. Um, let me take a look at QQQ. I'll show you guys one more just to kind of show you all that this really does, which is it is pretty amazing. So now we have some bigger levels over here. Um, 473, some large orders there. I mean, 473 all around, but these are two really massive orders. 468 not as many here and then 558 all right well let's take a look at that so give me one second let me refer back to here so let's look at 473 area first on cues so as from um, previous knowledge this area is most definitely a certain support sorry resistance zone um as we can see over here this 473 you know continuously kind of got some chop around here and again this is the one hour sorry not chop consolidation consolidation over here consolidation over here holding below that level so this kind of indicates us again sellers the sellers so you know, let's kind of look at this area. This four. Are there any large orders for 470? Not that I really saw. But we are on the one hour, so. But yeah, and then again, okay, so I did see that 468 level. Um, yeah, so as you can see, that is pretty much a support area, but hasn't touched that area in a little bit so we haven't really seen it but these are also all levels from last week on Monday till 
today's date. So these are kind of just the top 50. But anyways, quant data makes it so easy to find these and not even just to find them um, as more of like a confirmation to the levels that you are picking out on your chart. So, I mean, I really love using this. It is a extremely helpful tool. And if again, if you're into looking at market data, this is the place to do it. And I join their Discord live sometimes and they have some crazy good information on there, especially dealing with kind of this page over here, gamma, delta, um, net drift, all of that. So it is definitely super cool. I would definitely go check it out. But thank you guys so much for listening and I will see you all later.